New game. I know, like, nothing about this. <gasps> Welcome back, Bummer. This place is so full of people. My tie is just too tight. I've never worn one before. They were right, the big city really will eat me alive. This letter... Job offer. What if everything was a joke, a scam? But... Maybe it's real. Maybe this letter is real. My first job. Well, I finally arrived. I hope I'm not at the wrong place. I should walk around. WASD. I'm using a controller. I'm a bit nervous. Maybe if I talk to someone. Um, <clears throat> quick going over with questions on it. Uh, is this a puzzle game? I don't know. All I know is it's the exact same makers that did Count Lucanor, which is partly why we're doing it. Um, I braved very well for Resident Evil 7. Yeah, I did play Resident Evil 7 with Isaac on the side. We both screamed for the Um, Isaac did not play Resident Evil 7. I did. Um, but Isaac was here sitting with me while I played it. And part of the reason why I played Resident Evil 7 and not Isaac is because I'm very much more of a fan of the Resident Evil series than he ever was. And so I specifically told him I wanted to play it. And that's going to go with the same for the Resident Evil 3 remake, which I haven't done yet, but I still have, because I do want to play that. Hello, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. If you don't mind, would you call me by my last name? Chapman, you know how big companies are with their formalities. Oh, excuse me, you should call me Pasternak then. Nice to meet you, Pasternak. Looking at you, I think you can assume it's also your first day at work. Just stay calm, it's normal to be a bit nervous. Yes, I'm here because I got a letter. So, sorry to trouble you, but I haven't been able to stop staring at your outfit since you entered. What are you wearing? Uh, suit? No, I mean, what designer? Who made it for you? Oh. And I have no idea. I apologize for my bad manners, but that seems very peculiar to me. Do you not remember where you bought it? Uh, I think my mother got it for me at a supermarket. Supermarket? Excuse me, but what class are you? I'm class G, and you? Get away from me, Varman! How dare you talk to me, class G scum! But how, how, how? Get out, go! I'm sorry for- shut up! What brings a, a piece of shit like you to a company like this? Do you know where you are, do you? Uh, this is the original Corp headquarters, the mythical, nay, legendary building that gave birth to one of the greatest companies in the world. Uh, yes. I haven't finished yet. This company only hires the smartest, most qualified people at the international level. Students from those prestigious universities are rejected by the handful for not making the grade. Candidates of proven experience fight for a... No. <sighs> Calm down, chap. I can't keep talking to you. Get out of here. Holy fuck. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, Isaac, Isaac doesn't do first person very well because um, he gets motion sick. There's a lot of games that even aren't in first person that he gets motion sick with. Hello, my name's Brian. Wow, you're very casual. My surname is Hicks, but you can call me Kate. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Sorry, I'm not used to this. Mine is Pasternak. No, no, no. Call me Kate. It's more natural. Are you from the suburbs? Yes, I'm G-Class. I hope you don't mind talking to me. <laughs> I guess you met that blonde guy. There's always a lot of very stuck-up people working downtown. Oh, does that mean you're not from the capital? I was born in Class E, but my father got a job here. My family was able to ascend through the ranks. I have no idea what those classes are, but apparently it's status symbols in the world. <sighs> How lucky. So are you here because you got a job offer also? Yes, I finished college and passed all six entrance exams. I'm super excited. I'm sure you know how hard it is to get a job here. There were thousands of candidates. I work in disaggregated analytics, by the way. What's your specialization? 
specialization. Um, let me guess. Managing redundancy? Uh, perhaps combined programs? Well, wait, wait. Network protocol systems. Management of vertical bases. Structural data calculus. No, I, I've only finished my basic studies. Oh. <sighs> what am I even doing here? It's impossible for a Class G to get a job at a company like this. That letter must have been someone's idea of a joke. Letter? Take a look. Ryan Pasternak, you have been selected for a role within Centricorp staff. This job upgrades your status to the Class A category permanently? Delivered to my house a week ago. I thought, I, I don't know. Now that I'm here, it's clear this was a mistake. I'm an idiot. What do you mean a mistake? You've directly secured a position at Centricorp. To me, this sounds like the opportunity of a lifetime. Cheer up, man. But I don't have the proper education, or this is an important company. Surely they do a thorough scan of every student in the country. Maybe they saw great potential in you. Mr. Chapman, please enter the elevator. <laughs> they always call the most important people first, understand? Of course you don't. I can see from your face how ignorant you are. You see that little light on the elevator that marks the floors? The higher you go, the more appreciated you are. The ninth floor, the managing directors. That's my destiny. Goodbye forever, beggars. Tiger just ran in here. I saw the door just fly open and he's suddenly at my feet. It stopped on the second floor. Wasn't too important, I guess. <laughs> Ms. Hicks, please enter the elevator. <clears throat> oh, I'm a back of nerves. I'm a back of nerves. Good luck, Kate. Thank you, Brian. Ah, uh, I hope we meet again so I can invite you out for coffee. Oh, uh, so do I. The lady is very nice. Up to the fourth floor. She must have studied hard to get so high. I guess I'll have to wait here until they call me. Unless that re letter really was a joke. Yuck! I should find out more about that letter before I leave. Pamphlet, it reads security, stability, fair salary, and ultimately your welfare are our priorities. Centricorp provides Class A citizenship to all of our employees. We've spent half a century at the top working for you. Class A is a dream for someone like me. Pamphlet, it reads every year Centricorp provides aid to millions of people in underdeveloped sectors via social network, via social work. Remember, there could be no growth without sustainability. Social network. <laughs> Hello, expert. Oh no. Oh wait, did I change the job? Did I change the game name? Hold on. I better have. I better have. I'm gonna uh, upset with myself. Yes, I did. No, um, uh, Merido, we, um, Spirit Fair is mornings and then I switch over to a different game and then in the evening, not in the evening, in the later part of the afternoon, I tend to switch to one of the Tomb Raider games. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Ginger. Ginger. Nothing interesting here. Lobby, canteen, initiations, level two. Offices, AT, security, hive, offices, archives, library, garden, executive, management, and then rooftop. No answer. I've never, I've, I've only seen this part of the game ever when I tested it in the past. It won't open. Like, everything from this point on is new to me. Actually, maybe I should show that letter to the camera. I can open my briefcase with I. So basically, why? Use. Hello, security camera, gentlemen or, or lady? Leave this letter with my name, see, and it says you've given me a job. Is this some sort of prank or hello? What an idiot. Looks like it came all this way for nothing. Well, it looks like I won't be having my first job in the capital after all, and it's a long journey back home. Yep, you bad word? No. It's an old slang term, I know. I don't trust it. I want to at least I need to I want to at least find out where that elevator goes before I leave. 
Omega Jasmine. Do I play requests? Um, we have a game request on our Discord channel. If it's something that looks like one of us would enjoy, then yes, we will. Um, Spirit Fair was actually a request. Yuppie Psycho is one I've been wanting. Thought they used it to describe someone with a well paid job and passionate lifestyle. Yuppie? I thought in the past it was like. I don't remember, but I thought it was more like a college type term, almost like a jock or something. Top floor? This has to be a mistake, right? But not jock, but something else. Uh. When will we play Divinity again? Actually, probably tonight. The Thursday night is our together stream when we play together. As long as we're both alive and awake, which is very likely, we might end up playing that tonight. If this is like Count Lucanor, then there's multiple endings. We're going to try and get as many of the endings as possible. And then once I get to a point where I don't know the endings, I'll ask people for help to get the others. Because I have a feeling it's going to have multiple. Remote control, but doesn't work. Only two batteries. Why is... What is this? Modern art, expensive bases, but covered in... I want to say red paint. There's paint everywhere. What? Contract. I, Brian Pasternak, declare that I accept the job offered by Centricorp as described in the attached annexes at which my salary will consist of 10,000 credits per day plus bonuses for achievements and maintenance and promotion to Class A. 10,000 credits a day? That, that's a fortune. Wait, wait, wait. This could be a trick. Let me read those annexes. According to the pre-established norms of the pre jurisprudential doctrine currently enforced, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Centricorp. By accepting the stipulated payment, the pay plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document. Um, indefinitely or until termination of contract, this contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or at the request of the trade union association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted in social status as dictated by resolution 1138. Uh, I can't make heads or tails of this. Should I sign? No! Fuck this! I have a bad feeling about this. I better not sign it. On the other hand, having my first job at such an important company with all these credits. Fuck out of here. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck everything. I don't trust this place. I'm gonna die on the way down, aren't I? Fuck you, get out of here. Just leave. Just go. Hello, it's me again. Uh, look, I've given it some thought and I've decided I'm not interested in the job. I don't know if I can go. Uh, uh. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Goodbye. Fuck you and fuck this job. Should I leave without taking the job? Yes! I think this job just isn't for me. <laughs> Wait, did I find an ending? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the game, guys. Thank you for... <laughs> we'll go back in. <laughs> uh... You're the first one I've seen fighting that ending out, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I go into a room with blood everywhere. It's like, will you sign the contract? No, fuck you. made a year ago. I remember that was like not too long. Yeah, I remember I've not had it for long. Okay, new game. <laughs> you always thought it was an option, but no one ever picked no. <coughs> we'll pick yes this time. I'll zip through the combos. Can I skip this? Oh, thank God, if you hit start, you can just skip it. I want to talk to her before. Like, let me see if I can talk to her. <coughs> Let's see what happens if you talk to her first. 
Hi, excuse me. The administration of an ordered branch's functional task is directly proportional to the product received from its contractual relationship to the net profit of <clears throat> selling your soul to the devil today. <clears throat> and he's gonna get angry. Is there a fucking G class? <clears throat> oh god. Skip, 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 skip. Pissy man goes to level floor two. And let's go talk to her. Now she's no longer reading. So that, okay, so we couldn't have talked to her from the beginning because she was in the busy reading. Of the game. This is nice. <laughs> this definitely seems a little bit more evolved than uh, Count Lucanor. We just finished Count Lucanor yesterday for anyone who didn't see it. Um, it only took about two streams to do it. It, was, it wasn't it was very long, and it was... I enjoyed it. I think it was really good overall. I, it was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. But I really, really, really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to good things from this one. I like the artwork, and I've liked the artwork in Lucanor, so... I don't know how many there are. Yeah, Lucanor had five different endings. I'm expecting a similar number, if not higher. It's like your ex. got the first ending. I refused to sign the contract and walked out. <clears throat> <clears throat> it was fantastic. Why did you roll your eyes at me? <laughs> but just... <laughs> music rolled his was all like, ugh. <laughs> Let's go out this way. Door, but it's locked. having coughing issues. So, anyone who didn't hear allergies kicked up again today. I did take some day call earlier. Which helped a lot. I'm having a cough drop. I'm going to put the coffee on the other side for a bit. <clears throat> I'm going to click on everything I clicked on beforehand to make sure that if there was anything that gets triggered by just looking at stuff. like a contract. I, Brian, passed an act to that I accept the job offered by Centricorp. <clears throat> As described in the attached annexes, of which myself... Okay, we'll just skip. Uh, all subsidiary clauses within the document of... of uh, hmm. I've come all this way. I can't back out now. Everyone would think I was just a coward. I'll sign it. Deal with the devil achievement. What? What? Well, what just happened? <laughs> well, I signed it. Now what? Do I hear someone? It just look like regular spheres. I don't understand much about modern art. Like I hear someone walking. I can go to any floor.
Canteen, Initiation, IT Security, Hive Offices, Archive. I, you know what I didn't do? I didn't check to see what floor she went on. What? Really? Got a cup of water. Commercial agreements. According to the company magazine at Centricorp, you're not an employee, you're a leader. <laughs> Gonna go witch hunting now? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anything about this. I don't need to wash anything right now. I don't have the ingredients necessary to use the sandwich maker. Vending machine selling candy bars. Candy bar costs under fifty credits. I don't have enough money. Vending machine. Soda costs under fifty. Coffee costs two hundred credits. I don't have money. What's going on over here? It's an altar. Five credits to make an offering, but it's broken. It can't be too difficult to fix. <clears throat> Is that the save system? Got 30 credits. Sir, you look overworked. It's an empty box of cereal. Should I take it? Yes. Look. It's an empty box of cereal. It has a barcode. They offer social status upgrade. <clears throat> Looks like he eats something, but the plate's empty. These cornflakes give you superpowers. Gee, this high-end luxurious office looks worse than a normal office. I mean... Yeah. It's empty. Um... <clears throat> Two. Fuck. This is initiation? I'm not wandering around in the dark without a light, and I'd rather not wander around here even if I had one. Got one ink cartridge. What the fuck is going on? <clears throat> IT and security. This is the where I normally work, minus all this looking like this. Oh god, I'm angry at this area. It's empty. Nothing here. <clears throat> Got one soda. It's very dark. I won't go in there without a light. At some point, we're going to end up with a flashlight or something. Can I pick up this file? No. The fuck? Over a thousand cameras are watch watching out for your safety. Smile. <laughs> what the hell? Um, what? So these are health items. Um. Yeah, no, that's kind of what I think. Is that the uh, M what exactly right? Fourth floor. I have a feeling she's on the fifth, isn't she? I think. I feel like. The girl I met in the lobby, Kate, was supposed to have come to work on this floor, but it's so dark. I can't find her without a light. Hive. Looks like we need a light first. What? <clears throat> Looks 
like a blank page. Blade has a watermark. Slytherin. Keep it in my briefcase. You got a mysterious sheet of paper. Hello, are you the new guy? Yes, hello. My name is Brett, uh, Pasternak. My name is Pasternak. Nice to meet you, Brett Pasternak. No, no, it's just... Haha, <laughs> it's a joke, man. I'm Hugo, your new workmate. I'm here to show you around. Sorry, I'm a little lost. I get you. If you come from the suburbs, the big city can take a lot out of you at first, but don't worry. You're in good hands. I'll show you how things work around here. Thank you. Now, this is the fifth floor here. We mostly perform management tasks, work with databases. Well, you know computer stuff. There are a few offices and a meeting room, the bathroom's in the back, and this is the reception desk, though the receptionist isn't here at the moment. Everyone here does their own thing. Look at that guy coming in, for example. Hey there, partner. Let me introduce you to Pastor... See, he didn't even notice us. One guy even comes to work just so he can sleep. <laughs> uh, come on, follow me. I'll show you our office. What? Lauren went front. What the hell are you talking about? Oh no, Lauren Stranger Danger crap that Guardian Tree. Welcome to your new office. Right now it's a bit empty since a few of the employees are on sick leave, but I don't feel like this is my office considering I'm not class A though. But this is really weird. Look who's come out of her lair. This is another of our co workers, Sosa. Hi, I'm Pasternak. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bit shy at first, but once she gets started with one of her stories, there's no stopping her. Well, let's get on with the tour. Over here, we have the water cooler, an important staple of our office. There's not much science involved, it's just free water. When it's empty, someone will have to come and refill it, which can sometimes take years. Hot. And here we have the cornerstone of any office, the coffee maker. We prepare a good amount of coffee every morning. What do you say we use a little to replenish your strength? Oh no, there's no coffee left. There's a legend that this office is home to a dark creature who never sleeps. They say she only drinks fresh coffee and never, ever, ever prepares more when it's finished. Right, Sosa? Oh I know those co-workers. So then, do you dare tempt the beast by making some more coffee? Of course, what do I do? Well, first, you need water and the coffee powder. You should be able to find some in here somewhere. Nothing in here. Got one slice of bread. I don't see anything useful here. It's empty. It also hides in there sometimes. Uh, lots of documents, but nothing I can use to make coffee. I don't need to make any phone calls at the moment. I don't see anything useful for here. Is there coffee in this? Photocopy. It's no use to me right now. One cup of water. So this fifth level's for slacking. It's supposed to be management, I thought. Got one candy bar. I don't have any coffee powder, do you? <laughs> Something in here. What? Hugo, I'm not sure this will work. It was in the trash. Oh, it'll be fine. Blow on it a little. It'll work perfectly. Okay, now that you've got the magic ingredients, just turn on the coffee maker. This is gross. Got one cup of coffee. Coffee gives you a much stronger energy boost than a plain cup of water. Water's really only good for showering. Well, I think that's all the basics. Do you have any questions? Uh, what exactly is my job? Really want to start working already? You've only just arrived. Oh, I just realized. I forgot to teach you one of the most important things about working here. The photocopier. You'll need both ink and paper to print copies with it. This one's already loaded. You can use this to print important pieces of data like quarterly figures or work documentation. But let's face it, those are lower floor tasks, aren't they? 
We here on the fifth floor can instead use this wonderful device to do fun things like photocopying our asses. What? <laughs> no. Let's see if my ass portrait came out well. I think I should have done it double-sided. Huh. Come on, it's your turn. He just dropped trowel. Uh, no, no thanks. Come on, man. You'll understand how funny it is once you've done it. I guess you don't have to do your ass if you're embarrassed. Why not use your face instead? My face, but you just... Let's see. Oh, no, it's out of paper. Oh, well, what a pity. Another time, perhaps. No, come on. You're the only one I can do these things with. Sosa's a wuss and never dares. I can't believe we don't have any paper in our office. Is there some in your briefcase? Mm. Picked up a blank sheet off the floor earlier. That might work. Of course, any paper works. The important thing is to put your head inside the machine against the glass. This is the mystery sheet of paper. Photocopied soul. This is your save system, isn't it? Wow, this sure is shiny. What just happened? Which paper? What? Well, well, I see you now know you know how to take care of yourself, Pastor Neck. So then, what's my job exactly? Like I said, if you really want to start working already, you can use that old computer next to you. Someone will relay you your tasks. Why is this unplugged? I suppose I'll try plugging in this wire. Can I just leave? Reed's boss. Better not bother him. I don't see anything useful here. Should access my computer first. Okay. So I can't leave or do anything like that. And I get the worst computer in the building. You need an ID card to access the machine. ID card? Uh, sorry to bother you again, Hugo, but the computer says I need an ID card. Ah, true. Mm, normally they get sent to the boss's office. I'll see if yours is already there. Run, just run away from this place. I have already have. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Pasternak? Yes, it's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm your boss. Hugo told me you don't have your ID card. It seems there's been some kind of administrative error. I apologize. Oh, no, it's fine. It looks like they sent your ID card to another office. You have to go to Office D, which is on the same floor as yours. Office D? Got it. Thank you. Something in his drawer. Why would Hugo have this here? Hey, Sosa. Fucking freak. Better not bother her. These are decorative pictures of dried branches and trees. What is with this? Office F. Locked. Not gonna check on Hugo? Why would I check on Hugo? Nothing here. Got one sheet of witch paper. Nothing interesting here. WC, the bathroom. And apparently there's an altar over there. Nothing interesting here. <laughs> what? Oops, excuse me. <laughs> Want a cup of my water? No. 
Ah, uh, no, no thanks. Door is stuck, it won't open. I don't know if anyone's cleaned this building for years. What floor? Excuse me. Okay, but it's just regular water, right? <laughs> I don't know if it is. It can be combined with other things to make meals. What is that creepy... I don't know who's laughing. It's kind of unnerving. I don't know what to expect of this game either. I just know it's the same makers that did Count Lucanor. Got 30 credits. Vending machine selling candy bars. Costs under 50 credits. I don't have enough money. It's Hugo. There are photos of the employees of the month. Hugo's in all of them. It's locked. B. I need office D. D? C's open. I'm sorry, what? Empty. I don't understand a lot of these charts, but I'd say this company seems to have its ups and downs. What is that? Or shit. Ah. I want some. I didn't realize the same creators those guys are good no they are good i do i did like um lucanor quite a bit sofa's blocking the door maybe i could push it out of the way <clears throat> office d accounting um wow it's way too dark in here hello Something written on the floor. It's a trap. This, this isn't funny. Turn on the light. What? Ooh. You know where the exit is? Oh my goodness, he's tied to the chair. What happened here? I'm gonna try untying you. He must be tied in the back. Won't <clears throat> budge. Hey, I'm not sure I can help you just yet, but, but perhaps between the two of us we can find a way out of here? I mean, he's the light source. Yeah, push the chair over these wires and then she tangled the move. I don't see anything useful here. Ooh!
packet of coffee powder. Nothing here. Carbo box seems pretty sturdy. Look. Sturdy box that would stand a lot of weight. Can of cat food. I found it on Mr. Hugo's desk. What is the noise that I'm hearing? Like, on a microphone? It's not this guy. The air duct is open, but it's very high up. I need some help if I want to climb into it. Can't quite reach it. I should try stacking more boxes. Oh, I see the other box. Here, listen. Here it is. That one's cardboard box. <laughs> what was that? Oh. That's too convenient. That's way too convenient. Can't quite reach it yet. I should try stacking more boxes. Oh, because I need another one. This place has the demons. It has the demons. All these stacked cabinets look like they could fall over at any time. Interesting here. Nothing interesting here. See anything useful? Mm -hmm. Take it easy. I'm sure there's got to be a way out in the back. Run. Something written on the wall. Run. I don't know what shift is on my controller. Oh no. Oh, okay, I found it. Fuck was that? What was that? I have to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh shit. No, no, no. Need to get out of here. I took damage because I didn't know what the button was to run. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was something that was attached to a filing cabinet. Goodness, what was that? What's going on at this company? Hey, you! It's locked. Please, we need to call for help. Boss. Boss? Hello, Eureka. Um, brewing a thing of coffee. Can I get more water out of this? Oh, I could use the coolers until they're empty. Um. 
Um. Uh, hello? Hugo? What's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. A monster? There's a monster in the office. What? Which office do you get? It was, I don't know, a nightmare. I think I understand. That monster you think you saw is actually a fellow who went a little crazy a few weeks ago and locked himself in his office. No, no, no. What happened in there isn't normal. There was a guy tied to a chair and dozens of employees hanging for the walls. You gotta tell someone. Oh well, man, I don't think there's anything like that going on in here. I swear, there were coffee makers and monitors flying through the air. <laughs> don't tease me, Pastor Knack. And besides, why'd you go into that office anyway? We blocked it off with a piece of furniture to avoid any problems boss called me and told me to find my ID card there. Huh? Your ID card's right here on the table. They've always left here. But, wait. This office is a total mess, and what are you doing sitting in the boss's chair? Oh, did I not tell you? There aren't any bosses at this company. There's not a single one in the entire building. What? I know it sounds a bit weird, but they've all gone crazy and left in most cases. What about our friend? You mean the guy that was, like, in the chair? I don't know if he was a friend. He was a light source. <laughs> our last boss locked himself up in this office for years until one day he just ran away. Who knows why? For stress, perhaps? Wait, but if there's no boss, who called me? Some joker, I suppose. Uh... Stop worrying about it. It'd be best if you took your ID card and started work as soon as possible. Oh, did I say work? Well, don't try to to do too much. You wouldn't want to go crazy like that monster. <laughs> Nothing interesting. A sheet of witch paper. A slice of cheese. Yuck. I'm having a lot of doubts about my job right now. Best if you turn on your computer, found out what your responsibilities are, and started ignoring them like the rest of us do. Overdoing things can be bad for your mental health. I'm going to go and make a sandwich. Check my computer, find out what my responsibilities are before leaving. The lantern man was our friend in this madness. It's true. Well, I mean, he was more panicked. Never used one of these machines before. What is this place? Could it be another trap? Are you going to kill me? Remain calm. I will not hurt you. What? What? What, what is all this about? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sintra. I am in charge of guiding you through your new job. Okay, but what's this green world? A second ago, I was in the office. We're connected to Sintranet, our corporate interface. Here you can track your tasks, receive messages from your colleagues, and consult me on any topic. Point of interest. You just received your first message. I wish you could read it by activating it. 
Welcome to Central Corp, Mr. Pasternak. I hope your time here will be prosperous, productive, and lasting. You sent this message to me, right? Correct. <clears throat> you are agreeable. I will proceed to explain the responsibilities your occupation entails. You thoroughly studied the contract you signed earlier, correct? Uh, well, actually, it was so long. And there were a lot of unfamiliar words. I kind of got lost. Do not worry. I will parse the information from it myself. According to the pre-established norms of the jurisprudential doctrine currently enforced, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Centricorp. By accepting the stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document indefinitely or until termination of contract. This contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or at the request of the trade union association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted in social status as dictated by Resolution 1138. <coughs> excuse, you, could, excuse me, could you just tell me my responsibilities directly? Of course. The focus of your work at Central Corp is on a single goal. Exterminate the Greek creature called Witch. What? Exterminate the creature called... Yes, I heard you, but I have to kill a witch? That's a joke, right? You have been hired as a witch hunter. What? <laughs> okay, okay, look, I'm not sure what's going on at this company, but I don't want think I want to hurt hunt anyone. A witch? Seriously? I will now describe the details of your work. No, I don't want to know. There's definitely been some sort of mistake. This icon marks your first task. Locate Hexenhammer. How do I get out of here? Please, Mr. Pasternak, allow me to finish my explanation and I will show you the way out. Thank you. Due to a lack of information regarding the witch, your first task will be to locate the Hexenhammer. A witchcraft treatise written in the 15th century that describes how to identify, hunt, and execute these unique creatures. <clears throat> I mean, we're talking about witches, right? Witches? Centricorp has acquired a copy of the Hexenhammer, but the location of the book is currently unknown. According to our most recent records, the book should be somewhere within the company's library on the seventh floor. It is recommended that you begin your search there. Okay, are you done? I must also inform you that you're... For retrieving the book, we will provide you with a bonus of 1,000 credits. Look. Hey, Centra, look, thank you very much for the offer and all that, but hunting witches isn't my thing. I came here thinking this would be a normal job, but it's getting more and more bizarre by the minute. Maybe it'd be best if you found someone else to take my job. I am sorry to hear you say that. You are free to leave at any time. If you would like to disconnect from the system, please activate the output icon. I hope you will reconsider our offer. I will be here whenever you need me. So I'm going to call it now. That girl at the first floor in the very beginning is the witch. That's what I'm going to say. Might be wrong. Probably wrong. But I'm going to say that she's probably the witch. What do you wish to talk about? <clears throat> Can you tell me more about the witch? We do not have much information regarding her, although there are indications that she has been living within the building for decades, tangibly affecting the company's business development. Because of this, Centricorp devised an eradication plan and began hiring specialized witch hunters. But I'm not a hunter. I only just finished basic education a month ago. Don't you think this could be a mistake? The company conducts a rigorous assessment of its candidates before hiring Mr. Pasternak. I can assure you that the margin of error is minimal. But I don't know anything about witches. That is why your first task is to locate Hexenhammer. This treatise on witchcraft will help you achieve your goal. Do not doubt yourself, Mr. Pasternak. The company has complete confidence in you and will support you however it can. What are you? Hey, Hugh, I mean, what are you exactly? I am an artificial intelligence created in 1973 as a promotional image for Centricorp. I was later incorporated into its computer system as a guide and companion for the worker. I thought your technology would be more modern. Hi, Meaty. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Pasternak. In any case, I hope that my mature experience can help you guide you to the successful completion of your mission. If you would like to reveal your information regarding the statuses of your current tasks, proceed to the desired icon and I will inform you. Okay. This one. Can you tell me about that book? Your task is to retrieve it from the 7th floor. Is it a normal book or will it be some sort of dangerous book-shaped monster? According to my records, it is a common book. I'm not sure I believe you, but okay, it doesn't seem that complicated to those. As of this moment, you have made no progress toward completing this task, sir. I encourage you to begin working as soon as possible. A productive worker is a happy worker. Of 
Before you leave, I have one last important warning to give you. Your work here is confidential. You cannot disclose to anyone your status as a witch hunter or its related responsibilities. In the eyes of your partners, your work will consist of consulting on systems and databases. What? In the interest of your own well-being, I hope you will not reveal the secret. See you soon, sir. If you already connected to the system, that computer is a little old, so maybe you have some outdated software, but it should be all right for the basic stuff. Did you find what your responsibilities are? Well, it looks like some sort of chores if you can call killing a chore. Kill? You have to kill somebody? Uh, no, 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 no. Kill. Time. No. <laughs> I see that you've got the hang of it now. You're already thinking about lazing around, aren't you? Yes, well, actually, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this job. Well, why not? Here in the big city, everything's so much faster and just different. I was thinking I might be better off going back to the suburbs. It takes a little time to get used to it, man. Don't worry. And we can always give you a hand if you need it. Look, if you're really feeling stressed, go relax in the canteen on the first floor. Have a snack. Chill for a while. Take it easy. It's your first day. Hello. You're the witch. Sosa's too easy. It's too easy to assume Sosa's the witch. Bodhi is meowing in the hallway. Bodhi! Oh my god. I might have to get up and look at him. He's gonna drive his exam. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? Like easy to something, but the place empty since the farm's like super super crowded. Hello. Hi, my name's Pasternak. Pasternak, do you usually cry in the shower? What? Uh, I'm not really, no. I do it all the time. Oh, well, I'm sorry. My name is Mel. Nice to meet you. Do you live alone? <clears throat> uh, no, I live with my parents. Well, I was. I have to get an apartment in the capital now. Coffee? Yeah. But... Okay, well, see you later. My office is in room B. We can hide there. Uh-huh. Go have some sexings. Make a cheese sandwich. Bodhi. Bodhi, darling. He just walked in. <clears throat> One cheese sandwich. Okay. Was it two pieces of bread? Two pieces of bread and cheese. Okay. She's a bitch. She's a <laughs> I would say succubus if I had to choose between them. It's a carton of dry noodles with a name or I should I take it? You can Problem. No, baby. Noodles. Got some hot noodles. I'm the person that steals food out of the fridge now. Goody. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Altar, five credits to make an offering, but it's broken. It can't be too difficult to fix. Why are the altars all broken, I wonder? I wonder if that's a witchcraft thingy. This is a sandwich Isaac made that I really want, but the problem is this game is so dialogue heavy, I can't eat it. I have to wait until I get into Tomb Raider or something. So the Sintra AI robot thing said the Hex and Hammer book is somewhere in the library. Getting a book shouldn't be too dangerous, right? I've never had to be afraid of going to the library before. Actually, I pressed the wrong button to search the book. Okay. Screen reads, anyone seeking to borrow a book from the library will need to present a copy of Form R301 with all the relevant data filled in and sealed with reference code of Sintra Corp. 
All documentation can be found in the archives. <clears throat> Got form R301. I have to fill out the book data. Let's see. Title, year of publication, author, and publisher. At least I know the title. Now we need to find the rest of the data in the archives. Oops. I like how it still saves soul, load soul. Someone's ripped this painting to shreds. The plaque reads, In honor of the Blessed Virgin. A.M. Archives. I don't see anything useful here. Candy bar. It's empty. The letter here it reads on this topic. I can only, <coughs> I can tell you only the very little that I have discovered. They call them witch papers, and they can be identified by their snake watermark. Rumor holds that they're cursed, but that they still offer several benefits. One of the more common is the ability to photocopy a soul. By photocopying a soul, the spirit is saved. Should you do this before dying, you'll reappear at the moment you made the photocopy. When I photocopied my face on witch paper earlier, it saved me? That seems really useful. Authors, mobile archivers room. Publication ears, audio cassettes room. Publishers, box store room. Pencil. Nothing here. Nothing interesting. <clears throat> One sheet of witch paper. So this is a lot different from having the coins in Count Luke. Okay, yeah, we're saving our soul. Photocopy, but that's out of ink. I'll need to replace the ink cartridge before I can use it. Is that why we have these? Triangle drawn in blood. Coin cartridge. Empty. There's a letter here. It reads everything is computerized now. Nobody works at the archives anymore. I've not seen the old owl man for years. Since then, this has stopped being a safe place. Nobody believes me, but I've seen something sim sinister roaming the bookcases. <clears throat> They're unimportant documents. The note, it reads, yes, I found it on a corpse. You can't imagine the things that people keep in their briefcases. So many folders that I don't even know where to start. Hermione Granger. Oh, another corpse. What are you? What was that? A sheet of witch paper and a copy of form R301. Wait, Hexenhammer? She was looking for the same book as me. Ah, uh, yes, sliding bookcases. She died in the library. <clears throat> author, A2. Nothing new, just a note in the author section. A2. She's dead. Perhaps I should take a look at her briefcase. Corp resurrects. Copy the company magazine from 1973. The cover article has a picture of Sintra and reads, 
Intracorp returns with their new development plan in robotics and computing. I'm sorry, what? There's nothing interesting here. Looks like a triangle drawn in blood. Spiders painted in blood because of course they are. Spiders painted in blood because of course they are. They're like mines? That's what I'm assuming. Railing's broken, I go down, but I haven't I haven't dropped anything down there. Nothing interesting here. I don't see anything useful. One slice of bread in the filing cabinet, because of course there is. I'm sorry. You got two packs of coffee powder. Nothing interesting in here. One pencil. I don't see anything useful. One soda. What is this? It's secured with a knot. Untie it? No. I don't know what it is. No way in hell. Seems there's no power. Those, yeah, no, these eyes make me think of Soul Eater. That's what I was trying to think of. I couldn't I couldn't remember the name. Kitty? Put it somewhere on the dog. I have to find the power room. There's a cat in there. And I have a cat a um cat food can. Uh, the knot, I honestly, I think it's, um, I do think it's, um, someone that's dead and hanging, probably. An old folder here. What? Hold on. Picture time on my phone. Just in case. Looks like some kind of riddle. Maybe it's leading me to another bookshelf. Ah, shit. Holy God, that's so old it's falling to pieces. There's only one thing in it. Let me see, what else was up? I don't know why I assumed it would be here. So many folders, I don't know where to start. <clears throat> One bingo. It's like a square drawn in blood. Something interesting. Authors, mobile room, publications in the audio cassettes room, publishers in the box store room. So, her said A2. 
What is that symbol? <clears throat> I'm taking a bite of sandwich. I'm hungry. Half infinity? What's half of infinity? There's seven points. Yeah, it might be a Greek letter, but I don't know what the Greek letters are. Hold on. I'm looking it up. Not the answer. I'm looking up Greek alphabet. I want to see what that corresponds to. Um, there isn't really a corresponding anything corresponding to it. <clears throat> like, I don't know what that would mean. Checking. You're, uh, yeah, it could be lowercase alpha. So what if that is a seven? Which is what I did do. I did it on accident. <clears throat> and that's B1. A, B. Mm. I had an actual image of it, chair about that it was similar, but not exact. There's a folder there. Upstairs? Yeah, I see it. Author H. Kramer, J. Springer. Sandwich. These must be the authors of Hex and Hammer. I'll fill in the form. Well, I'm not going back that way. Where's the light switch? Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Something else here. Got a sandwich wrapped in aluminum foil. Yeah, I think that's the power box for the two rooms. I've been looking at it. Fuse missing. There's 
of course there is. Extra time. Like how much I've been using my phone with these. We pretend tapes have symbols on labels, but they don't ring a bell. Oh, these are okay. bleeding aren't you somebody offering help in this company is one of two things a rookie or a liar um suppose i'm a rookie i'm from the suburbs i see you're poor and miserable like me i also came from the suburbs i worked as an electrician like my father and my grandfather before me suppose you already know how hard it is how few resources there are Where i'm from from an early age the only thing we want is to get out of here there i was happier so i thought that red letter arrived. Did you also get one? Why? Why did you open your mouth? See, it turns out that in addition to being a rookie, you are also a liar, aren't you, Hunter? Then you also listen. You seem like a good kid. I don't want to frighten you. Can I help you out? You told me that you were an electrician. Would you know how to turn the lights on upstairs? Use missing a fuse box. You can replace it with anything made of metal so long as it fits. Check the items in your briefcase carefully. Aluminum wrap sandwich. You get a lot of information if you look at them up close. Thank you. you. Know anything about those weird things on the ground which explode? I've been caught out by several of those mines. Do you know if there's any way of deactivating them? You mean to kill them? They're not machines. More like mutant spawn. I've seen dead ones, so there must be a way to kill them, but I don't know it. Know anything about this book that I need to find? It's called Hex and Hammer. God, don't talk to me about that damn book. I managed to find half the info I needed for the form, but one of those damn mines blew up and set the stupid thing on fire. <clears throat> damn, I'm sorry. Do you know where I can find the rest of the data? And not you see the sign at the entrance? It tells you which room each piece of the information is in. Thank you, and I hope you get well soon. Very sharp and pointy. Something in here. I'm not opening that middle one. Well, whatever. I don't see anything useful here. Wait, so he was in there. Oh! 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 Square! Triangle, triangle, square! I'm looking. So there's a square triangle triangle. Look. So, uh, right hand side, second row. Because I don't see another triangle triangle square with the triangles pointing up. Square triangle triangle. This should be the place. We'll take a look at the covers. Bingo, this one reads Hex and Hammer. <clears throat> Is 
Set player required to listen. He's missing. He is. Perhaps if I use the foil wrapper. <clears throat> Seems like it's working. This should turn on the power to the rooms upstairs. Um, we found the guy that we let go. Apparently. I can get to the duck, but it's close, and I can't get to it barehanded. has a pencil in it. It's one of those mind things, although this one seems to be dead. You can kill them with pencils. What? Hello? Hi, my name is Brian, or I mean Pasternak. Hear you. Oh. Excuse me, could you? I'm listening. You don't need to shout. Sorry, I don't mean to be a nuisance. My name's Pasternak. I ask you about. Have you heard of a book called Hex and Hammer? No. I thought that maybe you worked on this floor and you could help me. No. Do you know anything about these mines on the ground? Is there a way to deactivate them? Pencil. Pencil? Yes. You need to use a pencil to kill them, or that you need a pencil to tell me how to kill them. I'm not listening to you. I'm watching the movie. Right. Okay. Thank you. I will try with a pencil. Yeah, I already figured out pencil. Can't reach it from here. I'll have to get a bit closer. Video tape player. I need a VHF. Tape player works with cassette tapes. I wonder what will be on this cassette. Sandwich. I think the voice said 1486. It has to be the year of the publication. I'll, I'll write it down on the form. 1486 sounds about right. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? Thank you for the resub. How are you? I also see your hashtag lurk. <laughs> These are the cat food bowls. They are empty. Here you have your food, lovely kitty. Cat's out of the bag, lovely cat. There's a crack in the wall. Give them two now. I don't know how to.
deal with the crack in the wall. <clears throat> Can you pet the cats? No, I tried. <laughs> of course I tried. Hmm. game glitch for the room with the cassette player for a second? No. I haven't had any glitches in the game at all. Don't see anything useful. Editor, Ulstein Verlag. This is to be the publishing house. I'm going to write it down on the form. Please, no. It's Hugo. Get out of here in the dark without blowing up. VHS tape titled Video Club Mysterio Chrysalis. It's Hugo's having fun. Hugo's pissing me off. Oh, he's meowing again. God, and he's reaching for the doorknob for the room that isn't that I can grab. Is Hugo a cat? Can I snuggle cat? Wait, that's everything. The form is full, filled out. I think that I can get out of here and see if I can get into the library now. Why? There's stuff to do right now. Crystal is.
fuck? The fuck was that mind trip? The videotapes are neat. <laughs> Brings me flashbacks to art films you were forced to watch. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh my god. That's like nothing. Want to use the form R301? <sighs> Error. After all that, I read Sintracorp seal needed. Sintracorp seal. Perhaps I should ask Sintra. I'll go back to my office and talk to her. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Hello. Hello? I'll take it. Yeah, it's because there's a new boy who just started. Hadn't you heard? I can tell you whatever you want to know about him. Oh no, there's no need, thank you. How delicious, delicious indeed. Have you not brought more lunch boxes? If he's gone mad, it'd be best to just lock him up and let her take care of that nut, don't you think? Hee hee hee. A pleasure, my name is Rostov. I work on the fifth floor. Meet you. Did you hear? I don't know, hear what? She's the receptionist. Oh my god, she's gossiping. Someone's written obscenities on the canteen whiteboard again. Hugo, I suppose. God, I bet you anything she's the receptionist. Water barrel's empty. Brew some coffee. More coffee. Cover some health. Drink it. The IT is three. Let's go to IT real quick. Out of curiosity. I know it doesn't make much sense, but... Well, she works on floor five. You know what? Let's just go to floor five. Let's drop her off. Hi, Hello Mirage. Got your first gaming laptop in the mail this morning. You're downloading all your games onto it. 400 gigabytes of free space, not memory. Space. Probably the games that take more you'll delete after beating. Yeah. You're gonna want to. Because, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Congratulations. There are times I wish I had a gaming laptop, and then other times I look at it and say, why? <laughs> like, just don't need one. I haven't had a laptop in a long time. Long, long, long time. <clears throat> well, Mr. Customer. Hello. How are you? How are you getting on? <clears throat> well, well, I'm getting by. Keyboard and the computers and that, that, that mouse click, click. Is everything all right? Uh, yes. Ah. Do you already know what your responsibilities are? Notary management of members. Ah. Hey, what about Hugo? Hugo. I don't see him at his desk. Do you know where he is? He left a while ago. Why? Why? Nothing. Forget it. Hey. Yes? Has anyone talked to you about her yet? Her? Yes, you already know. Um, I don't. Of the... Bitch. 
<laughs> oh, no, no. Doesn't ring any bells. Because he's using a gaming laptop, but he feels limited in the games you can play. Boo! <clears throat> Honestly, if you have a gaming laptop and you don't feel like you can play the more modern games, I, I strongly suggest looking into, like, some of the older games. Like, there's so many good older games that um, are easily passed by. Well, you have to be very careful, Mr. Pasternak. You know something about this with... Careful, she is everywhere. This company is like an apple that fell from the tree, Mr. Pasternak. What do you mean? It looks normal on the outside, but it's rotten on the inside. She's the worm that lives inside it, and if it catches you, if, if she catches you, you will become one of her children. What? You mean like Hugo's one of her children? <clears throat> well, hello, you two. Am I interrupting something? What are you up to in this hidden corner? Pasternak, do you already have the goth club card? Goth club? She also loves all those weird things. Horror films, role-playing games, comic books. She even started a geek club called Video Club Mysterio. Careful, she might kidnap you and take you to their secret lair. Eh. It's only two members. <laughs> Sosa. Did that not come through? What was your message? Hi, Josie. How's tricks, Pasternak? I see that you're still working. Are you already adapting to the company? Yes, well, more or less. Hey, what are... Were you in the archives just now? Pasternak, it's my birthday today. Oh, oh, happy birthday. Thanks, workmate. Listen, we're going to take a break later and have a bit of a party. What do you think? Oh, uh, we'll see if I'll still be here later. This work is very hard. Come on, man, cheer up. You have to stay. Everyone stands up staying. <laughs> he unnerves me. Sintra? What's that voice? What's the swing doing here? It is an application focused on rest and relaxation. Don't you want to try it? Me? No, thanks. Maybe later. I wanted to talk to you about the book you wanted me to find. Found all the data and filled in form R301. Excellent, Mr. Pasternak. You will be able to access the library. You will need the Central Corp seal that I myself can provide you. The final form is now printing in your office and will be available to collect once you log out of Central Corp. <coughs> Thank you. You already have the form with all the hex and hammer data. List, use it to enter the library and then find the book. Hey, you told me earlier that my job was confidential, that I shouldn't say anything to anyone for my own safety. Correct, Mr. Pasternak. Discretion is one of our com company's maxims. Some employees may be in league with the witch. So there are people here helping out the witch? Correct. It's entirely possible that she could be one of your co workers. It is advised that you refrain from revealing to the witch that you work with. Hey, Sactic, you fell asleep. Don't feel sorry about it. I see. Um, the witch's children. Hey, do you know anything about, um, children of the witch? I am sorry, I have no records of anything named witch's children. Why do you ask? Someone warned me about them. Hmm. The witch has been hiding in this company and spreading corruption for decades. Most of my predictions show that she is likely to have affected every person in this company to some degree, with particularly weak-willed individuals possibly falling completely under her sway. You should be careful, Mr. Pasternak. What if there is no witch, and this is just a witch hunt to go after someone, and it's just intercourse? <clears throat> so it's either going to be no witch, or it's going to be that girl in the very beginning. <laughs> Can't wait for more divinity. Um, possibly tonight. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it's possibly tonight. Um, okay. Oh. We remind all new employees that the weekly motivational talk with Colonel Dumont will begin at 11 a.m. Your presence is requesting a meeting room C. Thank you. 
motivational talk. At CentriCorp, we believe in a holistic approach to employee engagement and take a proactive stance towards the empowerment of the social and collaborative qualities of our employees using motivational talk. Tied up with the managing data, Pastor Naki. You have a computer. Go have fun with it. Anything else in here? See anything useful? What about this lamp? Give me a lamp. Give me something for light. I don't want to go to work tonight. I don't want. To. I don't. I don't blame you. I am ready to switch to Tomb Raider, but. Because of the way the save system works, I don't quite want to save. Oh, it's too dark in here. <clears throat> Bye, miss. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to give you away any more of my magic. interesting here. I'm not touching it. <clears throat> I never actually examined in the stalls. Door is stuck. It won't open. Was that one lady that said she worked in B? Did I check this? I'm pretty sure. Office B. Locked. <clears throat> Pretty sure I checked all this already. What happens if I turn this off? I don't understand a lot of these charts, but I'd say this company seems to have its ups and downs. That's just a pile of horseshit. likes to smoke as much as he likes cheese. Hello? <clears throat> Lights aren't working here. I'm definitely not going in there without a light. <clears throat> Can I get a light already? I need a light source. I think if I go to the motivational talks, they'll end up giving me, like, one of those office things that they usually give, at, like, those stupid things where it's like, look at this! It's a little pen light that you get from a company. It's got a company name on it. Executive of nine. Good executive. I haven't done that. Pamphlet. It says the exhibition in honor of the devil's blood. Introduce yourself as a man of wealth and taste. Uh. It's locked. It is a secure device that's quite complex. <laughs> BX? <laughs> Or is that B10? Because the only place I know where there is something like B10 is over here. Why is the six button red on the lift? It means we can't go to it. I don't know why. <clears throat> I 
Octaminate BX. It's a piece of old paper here. It's an illustration. <coughs> B8? A bat with eight drops. the fuck? So many folders, I don't know where to start. No. <clears throat> yeah, there's eight drops. <coughs> but... I figured bat and then eight, so B8 right here, but it's not. Do I like Dead by Daylight? You like it, but the, your girlfriend doesn't? Um, I like it sometimes. It's not something I want to play often, and I, we pretty much never, ever played on stream. We have in the past, but it's not something we care to stream. The problem with Dead, the the thing that I don't like about Dead by Daylight is once you get really high up in the ranks or you start getting good, you start getting into uh, groups of tryhards in the game, and it gets really annoying. What's the left back there? Just darkness? You mean over here? Yeah, it's just darkness and a door. <coughs> the one thing I can do at this point. Is we can save here. And we'll stop. We'll move on to Tumor. 